Good. Good. All right, what I have for you guys today is some Spanish. So we're going to start with some conversation starters. All right. I'm going to write I'm going to write a word down. If you guys already know what it means, feel free to shout out what it means, okay? First word we have is hola. Do you guys know what hola stands for? Hola. Do you guys remember what hola is? Translate hola in English, it means hello or hey. Can you guys repeat after me? Can you guys say hola? Thank you, Dara. Hola. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Let's start. Let's... We have gracias. Gracias. <laughs> All right, and gracias translates to thanks or thank you. Me too. Thanks, yes, we say gracias. All right, next up we have buenos dias. Then translates to good morning. Um, right. Yes, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Good job, Brian. Next, we have buenas tardes. Mm. And that is good afternoon. So right now we would say buenas tardes. Can you guys repeat that? Buenas tardes. Okay. Well, uh, how you want to see? Brian. And then to say good night, you would say buenas noches. Good night. Good, 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 good. good job, Brian. Buenas noches. That is good night. Translates to no. 
So in English and in Spanish, it's the same thing. If you guys say no, no means no. No, me no. Yeah, good job, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Good job. Next, we have Como esta? So when we ask a question in Spanish, instead of having the question mark like this in the beginning of the question, we write it upside down like this, right here. So since it's a question, I'm going to start it off with this inverted question mark. Hello. <laughs> All right. And then don't forget to end it with the regular question mark. Question. Question mark. All right. So, como estas? That translates to how are you? How are you? Yeah, como estas? Good job, guys. Good job. So, I'm going to repeat these. Hola means hello. Gracias means thank you or thanks. Buenos dias means good morning. Buenas tardes is good afternoon. Buenas noches is good night. Por favor. Translate to please. Si is yes. No is no. Como estas? Translates to then how are you? All right. We are going to move on to body parts. Okay. So we're moving on to body parts. How are you, Nancy? Hi, how are you guys? How are you? Good, good. Muy bien. <laughs> Next up, we have body parts. So do you guys want to name a body part? Uh, Tell me, I don't. Oh, yeah. Should we start off with the eyes? Yeah, eyes. Eyes, all right. Eyes. So for eyes, it's ojos. <laughs> Can you guys repeat that, ojos? You guys say ojos. Oh. Thank you. Good job, guys. Oh. So that's that's if you're saying both of your eyes, right? So you say tengo oh, dos ojos, but if you want to say your eye, that's just ojo. Oh. Yeah. Good job. Oh. Um, next up, we have let's see. We did eye. Do arm. Do arm. Do arm. All right. So then for arm, it's brazo. 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 Good job. Yeah. So if you were to say, um, my arm hurts, you would translate to me duele el brazo. Uh, let's see. Should we translate ear? Yeah, ear. Translate ear. Ear would be. Oreja. What? Oreja. All right. Can you guys? Repeat that, oreja. Oreja. Good job, guys. All right. 
Let's see. For two. All right, for two, it's diente. Diente. Good job, yeah, diente. All right. Did you talk? That's a funny one. All right. All right, so for tongue, it would be lengua. Le le it's lengua. Yes, it's lengua. Good job. So a lot of people eat tacos de lengua, which is uh, a cow's tongue. So if oh, you yeah. guys were to order some tacos, you would be like, can I have those tacos de lengua? Next we have Nari. Can anybody guess what Nari is? What is it? Yeah, your dog across. It's your nose. <laughs> so can you guys repeat Nari? Good job. Good job, guys. Next, we have Boca. 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 Which then that translates to mouth. Boca. 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 All right. Next, we have hand. All right, hand is mano. Mano is like mano. Mano, good job. Next we have rodilla, which that just translates to knee. Rodilla. Rodilla. Good job. Next we have. Which then translates to foot. What is that? It's pie. It's pie. So foot then translates to pie. We have finger. Yeah. Finger, it would be dedo. Dedo. Good job, guys. Finger would be dedo. Let me see for hair. Yeah. For hair, it would be pelo. Pelo. Pelo, good job, guys. Since my hair is brown, I would say tengo pelo café. Tengo pelo café. Did you want me to repeat that for you? It would be. Tengo el pelo café. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All right. For leg. Leg. It's pierna. Pierna. 
Yeah, no, good job, guys. Yeah. So if you would if you would want like let's say a chicken leg, you would say me da una pierna. I'm kidding. Pierna de pollo, right? Because if you just say leg, they <laughs> you know you have to specify it's a chicken leg. Leg. Yeah. Uh, pierna uh, de pollo. Good job. Next we have cadera. Yeah. We'll that. Then translates to hip. Your guys' hip. I say that. So I'm gonna repeat that. That is cadera. Cadera. Good job. You guys are getting very good at Spanish, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Next up, we have cuello, which that means your guys' next. Good job. All right, so repeating that again, it's cuello. Good job. Next one, we have piel, piel, which then translates to skin. All right, so that is piel. Yeah. And we have two more, guys. Our next word would be cerebro. Which then translates to brain. Brain. Cerebro. Cerebro. Good job. Our very last one would be espalda. What? <laughs> Our opinion. <laughs> it's espalda. I oh, want you guys to <laughs> Some of these hard words are hard to pronounce, guys. So. All right. So that just translates to back. And you say espalda. Espalda. Um, very good job. You did a very good job. So we're going to repeat these again. So mm -hmm. ojos. Oh. That translates to eyes. Ojos. Yeah, and then next we have brazo. Brazo, yeah, good job. That translates to arm, brazo. Next we have oreja, which is ear. Can you guys repeat oreja? Oreja. Good job. Next mm. we have diente, which then translates to tooth. Or if you want to say your teeth, it would be dientes. You would just add an S. Dientes. Yeah. Good job. Lengua, which is tongue. Remember when I said, if you guys want to order some tacos de lengua. Nariz is nose. Nariz. Oh, yeah. Next, we have boca, which translates to mouth. Can you guys repeat boca? Like Mexican food. Boca, good job. Yeah. Next we have mano. So thing from the Mexican restaurant. I'm ordering food. <laughs> Some tacos de lengua. Um. <laughs> mano, which then translates to hand. Yeah. We have rodilla, which is your guys' knee. We have yeah. pie, Thank which you. is foot. <laughs> You're welcome. Dedo, which is finger. Your guys' is dedo. That would be all of your guys' fingers with a, with an S. Dedo. Pelo would be your guys' hair. Pierna would be leg. So if you don't want like, any meat on it? Chicken leg, you would say uh, pierna de pollo. You want meat on it? Yeah. What do you want? Chicken or carne asada? Carne <laughs> asada. Pierna. Uh, so for cadera, that would be your guys' hips. Cadera. Yeah. Your cuello would be your neck. 
cuello. Your piel would be skin. Your skin. Yeah. Cerebro is brain. And the espalda would be your guys' back. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You guys are getting very good at your guys' Spanish. Just keep practicing, okay? <laughs> That's all for today.